In this video, we're going to go over the best overall combo. We're going to be talking about the rod, the reel, the line, and the lures for those who just want to go out and catch inshore saltwater fish as easily as possible and effectively as possible without breaking the bank as well. So this combination is just a very good combination, right? It has very good performance without the very high cost of a lot of the other options out there. So we're going to go, we're going to go in order of importance. And so that for that reason, we're going to start with the rod. This is the most important tool because it enables you to cast, enables you to feel, basically enables you to deliver the lure to the fish, to feel the strike, to set the hook, and to work the fish back into you. By far the most important tool. And for the rod in particular that I found has worked best, that's, that's we'll say everything's under $100, is this is the TFO Pro. The MSRP, right around $100. Um, in particular, the, the medium power rods uh, for this series. I like the 7.6 length best. The seven foot works great as well, but medium power, most importantly, this is a good, just all purpose setup for pretty much all soft, plat like all lures that work uh, for inshore saltwater fish. This is the, uh, one of our, our smaller paddle tails, works awesome. Also works great though for topwater plugs, uh, just for, again, for a variety of different lures, both light and, and on, the, on the moderate heavy side as well. Next, uh, next thing to talk about is the reel. This is going to be the second most expensive thing that you should be purchasing. And yes, I said the second most important thing. The rod should be number one, reel number two, because the reel isn't as important as the rod. And so for reels, this Daiwa Fuego has been awesome. This is $99. Um, this has been a great reel. This is the, the lowest priced rod, sorry, lowest priced reel to get their mag seal capabilities, which it basically helps helps prevent some, some saltwater intrusion if you, if you have an accident out there. It's not perfect, but it's the best that I've seen so far at the $100 or less price point. This is awesome. If you want to save an extra $30, you can go down to the Legalis, which is $30 less, basically the same size, same drag, still very lightweight, still very smooth, uh, but you just don't have the mag seal capability. So just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, so another thing that a lot of people overlook is the line super important. It's actually, I would, I would argue it's more important than the reel as far as catching fish. And what you want to do is you want to use braid line, most, most importantly, and then go down to 10 pound braid, uh, I would say, if you're doing pretty much most inshore fishing. If, um, if you're fishing off of an inlet or a pier with a lot of bigger fish and strong current and heavy structure, you of course need more than 10 pound braid. But if you're fishing more of the backwaters out of kayaks, uh, or from boats. This 10 pound braid is surprisingly strong, but most importantly helps you cast better and further. You can feel strikes better. There are just a lot of benefits on going to this light 10 pound braid compared to those who are using 20 or even stronger braid. So highly recommend the 10. I did a casting contest between the 10 pound braid and 20, 20 pound braid. And with this 10 pound, every 15 casts enabled an extra football field of coverage to be uh, to be had. So not much else in fishing can guarantee more strikes than you cover more water like that. So super important. Uh, now, last but certainly not least, we'll talk about the lure. So in this case, if you're getting just if you're getting into to using lures, we have a lot of people ask all the time, "Hey, what lure should I get? Uh, and what situation should I use them?" I'll, I'd say keep it as simple as possible. Use this. This is the Slam Shady 2.0. It's rigged on a uh, trout eye jig head. This will absolutely catch pretty much anything that swims. It's easy to use, it's easy to rig, and, uh, and it catches a bit of everything, which makes it, in my opinion, the perfect lure to get started with. So if you're fishing water anywhere from two and a half feet to really eight feet, this setup right here can work. Quarter ounce jig head with a Slam Shady 2.0, excellent exit combination, catch a ton of fish. If you're gonna be fishing the shallower water, same paddle tail, but rig it on a weighted hook. This is the owner twist lock hook. This is deadly for the shallows. So keep it simple, right? We have, we have members really across the entire Southeast and these, these lures, right? This is basically one lure. So shallow water under two and a half feet, use the weighted hook. Deeper than two and a half feet, use the jig head. That's all you need to bring. And then just focus on finding the fish. And a cool thing about this rod that another, another feature that gets overlooked and another reason why I, I love this rod is this keeper. So if you zoom in right here, this keeper, this, in, this type of keeper enables you to store your lures, whether they are we, not weedless, right? In this case, a normal hook, you just slide it in, super effective. But the coolest thing is that you can actually store 
your weedless lures without making them non-weedless. So for this example, we have this rigged up, so it's totally weedless. If I'm skipping up in our mangroves, I'll, I'll do this. And if I'm gonna go to a new spot, I can just slide it in while still keeping the hook weedless. Most other rods have the loop, have that loop and you have to thread the hook through there. This rod has this, we'll call it the hook. This rod has the hook where you can literally just, just slide the hooks in and you're good to go. So we'll slide that guy in to secure it and uh, good to go there. So that's it, that's the combination. This setup right here has been responsible for an absolute ton of, of great fish, both big and small. Uh, yes, even with this 10 pound line, I've caught over 40 inch snook, over 40 inch redfish with it, even tarpon up to 60, 80 pounds range. Uh, this, this line with good knots can, cut, can handle some really big fish. As for brands of line, Power Pro is probably the easiest one to start with. Just the original Power Pro, it's a four strand braid. That's what I have right here. It's easy to use, easy to use with knots, and, uh, and holds up for a long time. And uh, that works great. Also the Daiwa Acre, and that's now my favorite. It's a little bit stronger, but it, it, it has a little bit more tendency for wind knots. But if you're, uh, once you get, uh, I guess I would say moderate to advanced, I would say upgrade to that. But to start, this Power Pro Original gets the job done and uh, this overall setup has just been awesome. And the best news is you can now get all of these items from our, our store, fishstrong.com. For a while, we've been sold out of these rods, and then when we get the rods, we're out of the reels. That they're, they're very good, they're, they have high demand, they've been hard to get uh, to keep in stock. We just got a shipment of both, so they're all available, plus the line, plus the, the lures. And I did forget to mention about the leader line, so if you, uh, when you do need leader, uh, just this 20 pound Andy Mono gets the job done. I know a lot of people recommend fluorocarbon. Yes, it does work. Uh, I just haven't found that it, that it actually is worth the, the extra price. So I personally use mono when I'm fishing. And I really haven't seen a, a difference. So 20 pound Andy Mono, 10 pound Power Pro Braid, spool it up on a Daiwa Fuego or a Legalis if you want to save a couple extra bucks. And then uh, put that all on the, this TFO Pro Rod and you can have yourself some awesome fish catching fun for pretty much all inshore saltwater fish, redfish, sea trout, snook, flounder, even some, uh, some moderate sized tarp. And so thank you so much for watching. Comments, questions, anything else down below, love to hear from you. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.